OK, so today we're going to look at something every Windows user should have. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So today's video, we're going to look at something every Windows user should have. And this is very, very important. Now, you might remember many years ago when you bought a PC or a laptop, it came with a recovery disk, which meant that if your computer failed completely, you've got a disk to reinstall Windows. Well, I don't know if any manufacturers still provide these, certainly none that I've seen in the last decade have not provided any form of recovery disk because they do say that they've got a recovery partition on your computer, which means that you should be able to recover Windows without a recovery disk. But being an IT expert, I've known many, many times when this has not been possible, i.e. when the boot sector has been corrupted, a virus has wiped out the recovery partition, a cleanup tool has exact, as, as accidentally removed the recovery partition or damaged the files in it. Or worse still, if your hard drive fails, again, you won't be able to access the recovery partition on it. So how do you get yourself a copy of Windows 10 or Windows 11 to be able to reinstall your system if the worst should happen or reset it back to factory settings? Well, the same method applies on Windows 10 as it does on Windows 11. And all you need to do is you just need to have a blank or an unused 32 gigabyte, that's a 32 GB USB flash drive. Sometimes you might be able to get away with 16 gigabytes, but some systems require a 32 gigabyte. Now this will create a recovery USB drive, which has got a copy of your system as it was delivered from the factory. So it won't back up any of your files. It won't back up any of your programs, but it will allow you to restore your system back to how it was when you first turned it on, when you first got the system. So it has all of the drivers installed on it, it has all of the pre installed programs on it, just as it was set up when you first got the computer. So what you need to do is you need to plug your flash drive into the side of your computer or the front or the back of your computer. And then once it's plugged in, you need to click on the start button and then just type recovery, R-O-C-O-V-E-R-Y. And then after a few seconds under best match, you should see recovery drive. Once you see that, move your mouse over it, left click once, and then it will probably say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? We'll make sure that it says recovery media creator. Make sure the verified publisher is Microsoft Windows. Then move your mouse over. Yes. Left click once. OK, so here we have the recovery drive wizard. So it says even if your PC can't start, you can use a recovery drive to reset it or troubleshoot problems. If you back up system files to this drive, you'll also be able to use it to reinstall Windows. So make sure there's a tick just to the left of backup system files to the recovery drive. This will ensure, as it says above, that you can reinstall Windows. So with the drive plug, in, make sure that there's nothing important on that drive because it is going to wipe everything. Like I say, you can use a, a 32 gigabyte drive. That's probably about the best. You might be able to get away with a 16 GB. You can use a large drive if you want to, but you're just wasting space. But make sure you do not use this drive for anything else. OK, so you're going to need to ensure that your PC, if it's a laptop, is plugged into the mains as well at this, as this point, because creating the recovery drive could take one to two hours possibly. So uh, you've got to have a lot of patience here. Make sure that the PC is available and can be left for one to two hours. Make sure that you're not doing anything on it because it's likely to interrupt the creation of the recovery drive. So if you need to do this kind of job overnight. OK, so once you've plugged in your drive, you've made sure there's a tick to the left of backup system files to the recovery drive. Move your mouse over next left click once 
and now it's searching for the recovery drive. Now you've got one final chance to back out of this if you do suddenly think, ah, no, I have got stuff on that drive that I need and that is coming up in a minute. But like I say, make sure that you do not use this drive for something else. Make sure you clearly mark the drive, put it away somewhere that you can get to it if the worst should happen. It is the drive that you hope that you will never ever need, but you've got it there if you do ever need it. Now, as I say, it's just trying to search for a drive. Sometimes this can take a little while. Sometimes it comes up pretty quick with the, the drive that selection. So I'd also say if you can at this point, make sure you've got no other USB drives plugged into the computer. So there's no doubt about where you're going to put the recovery drive and what drive you're going to wipe. So if you have got other, other drives plugged in, perhaps unplug them now. Now, a lot of people think that Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Outlook, the official Microsoft apps come with Windows. Quite often they come as a trial version. If you do have these apps, then make sure that if you do ever need to reinstall them, make sure you've got your Microsoft password or your product code that you used when you installed Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Access, Publisher, etc. Okay, so it's found my drive. Like I say, if you've got more than one external drive plugged in here, you'll have more than one listed. So it says here, the drive must be able to hold at least 16 GB and everything on the drive will be deleted. So if you wanna back out now, then you can click cancel just there. But if you're fully ready and prepared to wipe everything on the drive that you've plugged in and you've made sure you've selected the right drive, then move your mouse over next, left click once. And then again, it gives us another warning here. Everything on the drive will be deleted. If you have any personal files on this drive, make sure you've backed up the files. So this is the drive, the USB drive that you've just plugged in, it's referring to. So if you're sure there's nothing on there, then left click create. Now, as I say, this is going to take some time. Please do not do anything on the computer whilst this is creating because it's liable to interrupt it and you might well have to start again from scratch. Just leave it running. There may be times when it might look as though it's not doing anything like at the moment, but it believe me, it is the little green bar will slowly work its way from left to right in that gray box on the screen above formatting the drive, but it will move very slowly. And as I say, at times it will look as if it stopped. So just be patient with it. Do not cancel, let it run. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it when the drive has been created. So as you can see, the green bar has nearly made it all the way across to the right. Just one little final segment left to go. It's been stuck here for a few minutes, but uh, we're just waiting for the green bar to completely fill that and then to receive confirmation that the drive is ready. There we go. So the green bar has now filled it and it's now said the recovery drive is ready. So move your mouse over finish left click once and then what we want to do is we want to eject the drive now to do this we click on the little arrow down the bottom there and then we're looking for this little symbol here if you can't see this symbol then don't worry i'll show you what to do if you can't find it in a moment but if you can find it move your mouse over it click the right mouse button that's the button on the right hand side of the mouse not the left and then eject the name of your drive whatever's above recovery the word recovery left click eject and then that icon should disappear and then you can pull the flash drive out or the usb drive out of the computer if you cannot see that or cannot work out how to do that then the best thing to do is to click on the start button click on the power logo and click shut down okay let the computer shut down and wait until all the lights have gone off on the computer or the fans have stopped whirling and then pull the, the pen drive or USB drive out. Make sure that you mark this as the recovery drive for your computer. Make sure you don't use it for anything else because if you try and put anything else on it, you're gonna corrupt it. So make sure you put that away, but keep that somewhere. You know where to grab hold of it 
just in case you ever need to reinstall Windows on your laptop or desktop computer. So there you go. I hope you like this guide. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you want to have a look through my Amazon store, have a look in the description down below. Or if you're looking for a VPN, a Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube or Fire Stick accessories, then there's loads of links down there in the description down below. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bringing you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see anything whilst you're looking through my videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might be interested in, then please share these videos on your social media timelines.